sort of show you this one. It's very um, <laughs> very good way how to get the the concrete panels for the floor off the back of the little truck. Probably not the safest way to do things, but yeah, as long as it works. Just told them to make sure they leave enough room so we can get our car out from around the back. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be camping here for a while. And this guy had his head under the last panel that got delivered. So it's the last place I'd be putting my head. Here we are back again guys, this is all prefabricated, this is the bathroom floor, so, <laughs> so as, as you can see there all the pipes are already done for the toilet and that, so this just gets lifted in and it all locks together. You can see, we have five bathrooms and there's five bathroom floors here. Even the, even the steps are prefabricated as well. How are you going? Even all the steps are done. Hey. Welcome back, day number three. So they're starting to put the roof on for the first floor. Come in here. These are the concrete panels for the suspended slab. It sits about a meter off the ground. Um, don't know whether you can see, but all that blue pipe that runs through there, that's for the, the termite protection. So they have little little vents like that pressurized. Now at this end here, they'll cap them off and then cut them back to where the bricks are and they spray the, the termite gas into there and that lasts for about two years and just releases it slowly through them little pressure valves so, so. they lower that post in you'd see the metal biscuits there kind of hold it in place and then they weld the metal to the metal and then they concrete around that as well. Oh well, don't know what happened then. It stopped all by itself. I probably hit the wrong button. But as I said in the previous one, I'll put these both together. It's the afternoon of day three, third day they've been here. You know, it's starting to take shape now, so the posts are on for the second floor. They'll be all up by this afternoon, and tomorrow they'll have the, the cross beams on and the roof for the, the top floor as well, and also the floor up there too. What we're looking at now is going to be the, the back deck, which is 10 metres by 4 metres, and on the top floor will be the similar size deck coming off the master bedroom, and this one's off the downstairs living room. Okay guys, that's just about it. Just wanted to give you a quick update where we are, so this is only three days. Three days work for them. Okay, I'll give you another update tomorrow. Catch you later. Hello guys, welcome back. Here we are again. Just had a couple of days of rain, so it's delayed a couple of things. The, if you can see the truck down there, there are the roof tiles which start to go up 
in a couple of days time you can see the rain we've had still a little bit of rain not much hovering around but I suppose it is wet season you expect that so here's the the roof frame it is all actually um, prefabricated steel it's done per the architect specifications each length is individually made and numbered so it goes to give like a big Meccano set they do the roof on the garage last um, because when they brick it up they don't want people dropping concrete or cement from the brickwork onto the onto the tiles so that's why they do that last which makes sense anyway because they've got to brick them walls there and you don't want all the overflow of the concrete and cement on the new roof so we have no dramas with um, the build so far and even on the if you can see down here on the post as well if every post is individually numbered so when they get delivered to the site they know exactly where each post goes so that's about it it's, um, and all our insulation goes up there into the, the roof space as well So they should be finished this by probably tomorrow or Tuesday at the very worst which is today's a Saturday and then a couple of days time I'll put the roof tiles on good morning guys from a very very sunny and warm Thailand today just a quick one what we're doing here this is at the back of the property we're um, just clearing the, the weeds at the back we're getting soil delivered over there it's about 20 or 30 tip trucks full of soil and that's just for bees veggie garden at the back of the house so it's a pretty big area that veggie garden be about 25 meters deep and it's about 50 meters across so that's where you put all your fruit trees and everything like that as well well guys it's been a while since I've um, made a quick report what we're doing at the moment okay there's the picture of the house at the back what they're doing inside is they're starting the rendering on the walls so I won't go in there today I'll do one on Sunday what we're doing out here is building our entertainment hut let's have a, a quick look at the the hole for you anyway you've seen one hole you've seen them all that's about one one point eight meters deep and a meter by a meter and there will be six of them I think he's got 13 holes to dig for us around the property. So, when we've got our temporary water put in down the side, so we've got taps everywhere now to water these plants we're going to put in. Down the bottom there, we can see that side and that side of the steps. Um, they've left that open so they can put all their plumbing underneath and run their electrical cables underneath the house and then that will all be bricked in as well good morning guys welcome back i know it's been a little while just a quick update as you can see in front of me our entertainment hut is now finished um, excuse the pile of bricks they'll be gone very soon so all that needs to be done in here now which will be done in about three or four months time when we move in is tile the floor and paint where it's all rendered we have a window in, we'll just leave the tape on the window for the time being. All our power is in. So here we've got our, let's open them up, two light switches. And as you can see in the ceiling, we have four down lights at each end. Sorry the camera works not the best. <laughs> we brought one of our smaller outdoor settings over. Um, just to put in here in the meantime so we can sit here and have a beer and when we come over here to do a bit of gardening we can actually have lunch so the window locks up as you can see at the back here which I'll go out there soon we have our garden pots which are water jars scattered around the property and we put two nice palm trees in the front of the hut eventually this will all be turfed area going up to the back of the, 
the stairs and we'll have stepping stone pavers all the way up. Same here, this would be all concreted and tiled. And as you can see where the red markers are, that will be where the pool is going to go. The pool will be 12 metres by 5 metres. And where the water jars are at the back, that's all B's garden. You can see B down there in the corner. We're starting to put some trees in, mango trees, banana trees, coconut trees, etc, etc. I've actually got to lay those bricks and render them as well. Just looking at the back of the hut here. So that's about it for the hut. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's looking quite good. We've already had a beer in there. So it's starting to serve the purpose already. Okay, they're ready to go on the final lift of the pool. <coughs> Looks like they're going to take it down over the side fence and down the side driveway. <laughs> I won't say too much, I'm just holding my breath at the moment, but um, I'll let the, the pitchers do the, the talking. There's the boss lady in the white shirt, she runs the company in conjunction with um, Rob Lennon, an Aussie guy. So far so good. I would hate to imagine how they do it if you live in a, a high density area and you have neighbours very close together. Um, would have had to go over the, the top of the house, I'd imagine. All this dirt here you can see on the driveway and all around here was from the, the hole yesterday from the pool, so they levelled it all out. Um, and we've had a fair bit of rain in the last couple of days, but it is wet season. Not hard rain, just consistent for the last two or three days. Luckily today it's overcast, but no rain as yet. So it looks to me like they're going to go straight in the hole. Okay, thumbs up from the boss man. So, there's the pool in the ground. <laughs> Got a thumbs up from Kune. <laughs> the boss is happy, we're happy. Well, welcome back guys. It's getting the hot mix done for the driveway. Or tar, or bitumen, or asphalt whatever terminology you want to use. Now, those guys do it all the time. After they leave here, I think I said yesterday, they're going to do an eight meter road. Um, they do hotels and resorts, house land packages, etc. Uh, yeah, and you can see if you look closely, yeah, B just pointed out, they've got their safety boots on. Well, this guy has, he's got socks with his thongs anyway. But yeah, they just got the sandals on. And it's a lot better than concrete too. Concrete over time will crack up and then weeds might start to come through, but this stuff here will last forever. And it's only our car driving on it and other people's cars. So there's no big trucks or machinery driving on it. Right, I'll catch you later and I'll show you the completed item. Okay, see you later. <laughs>